Well, the theory holds that typically companies open labs close to where markets are growing fast and are typically big. It happens that for many decades, the fastest growing markets and the big markets used to be in the West, primarily in the US. But interestingly, there are these so-called emerging markets that are actually setting the tempo for uh, global growth. As a matter of fact, if you pick, for example, India and China alone, China reportedly this year will grow at about 10% or so, and India is going to grow around 8.5% or so. And this growth is going to continue for the next few decades to come. Hence, the big incentive to actually go where the market growth is. Interestingly, India is a very kind of an odd country among the four biggest emerging markets, namely Brazil, Russia, India, and China, because what you can see is that while in the case of even China, Goldman Sachs predicts that, yes, they're on a very kind of high growth curve at this point, or maybe the last 10 years, but if you look in the coming decades, it's possible that with the aging workforce in China, the growth actually can peter out a little bit, right? But in, China, in India, interestingly, it's going to be almost like a cruise speed, right? So we are going to have 6 8% growth, more or less, depending on government policies. Uh, but then it's going to be sustained over a kind of prolonged period of time. So that's the kind of first kind of interesting growth story about India, which attracts multinationals to India. 